Of course, non-religious people will be interested in this book. Uh, it gives them the scientific ammunition they need to shoot down religious criticism. Let's say a religious person invites them to church. Now non-religious people can cite this book and say they're taking care of their health rather than going to church because sleeping in is actually better for them. Uh, maybe a religious person claims they're happier because of their religion. Non-religious people can again cite this book and tell them that's unlikely to be true. But even if it is, it's only due to one of two things. Either they live in a very religious country and the non-religious experience discrimination and as a result they're less happy, or they're deluding themselves. In the real world, where non-religious people spend their time, unlike religious people who spend a fair amount in fantasy worlds, religion doesn't make people happy.